this is a basic chemistry review. They're asking how many coulombs of electricity in 207 cubic centimeters of H2O. And we need to realize that we got to figure out what the molar mass of H2O is. That means uh, the molar mass is equal to the sum of the atomic masses. This is found on the periodic table. Um, but this is actually how many grams are in one mole of H2O. And so once we can figure out that, we can do this. So it turns out the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. This is again found on the periodic table. If we add this up, it's H2O, that's going to be a total of 18 grams. So 18 grams in one mole of, of H2O. Which means that if we are given 207 cubic centimeters and the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter, that's 207 grams, 207 grams of water. And if we divide that by this 18 over here, we go times one mole divided by 18 grams, then we're going to get 207 divided by 18 is uh, 11.5. So 11.5 moles of H2O so far. Now, if there's 11.5 moles, um, we need to convert this to the number of atoms. And remember, that if we want to convert moles to atoms, then we need to use Avogadro's numbers, which is uh, 6.022 e to the 23rd. This is how many atoms are in a mole. And so if we multiply those two things together, 11.5 times 6.022 e to the 23rd, then we discover that it has 6.936 6 or sorry, so I'll put all the decimals here, 9253 to the 24th over there. And this is how many atoms of H2O are in there. Now we need to calculate how many protons are. We know that there's going to be 10, so we can just multiply that by 10. So now we know how many protons there are. So there's 6.9253 e to the 25 protons. And now we can calculate, based off of the number of protons, we got to multiply this by the number e. So that's going to be 1.602 to the negative. There's some coulombs right there, and I can just do that. 1.602 to the negative 19th. And uh, the total is like this big number, 1109433.6 coulombs. So that is the charge, positive charge, in that much water, apparently.